Hi, I'm Lucy de Labriere, and I look forward to this semester with EDCI 323, Amplifying Inquiry and Project-Based Learning with Technology. Welcome to week one. This week, we'll kind of get an introduction to each other and to inquiry-based learning and project-based learning. Each module is set up in a slide deck format, and you will find that the learning tasks are color-coded and have an icon next to them based on the type of learning task it is. Uh, there will be things that you read, things you watch and listen to, conversations that you will have with your peers, and also a to-do or action step that you're gonna take which is the bottom little pencil there. So our first learning task is called Gearing Up. You're going to get to read the syllabus and orient yourself to Blackboard, the discussion rubric, and other parts of the Blackboard course. Then you can watch a short TED Talk video and reflect on some of the questions below. And in the dialogue, I'd like you to introduce yourself in the bio discussion area. Tell us a little bit more about you but also respond to this prompt from the video. And finally, order the first book. The second book, don't order yet because I would need to get to know you a little bit more to recommend which of the uh, inquiry books will fit best for you. Our second learning task, we'll dive into an overview of project-based learning and inquiry-based learning. Read this overview link here and also read the blog post that expands on the definition from Paula Sincero. Write down a few thoughts uh, that describe your understanding of inquiry-based learning and project-based learning, and add at least one thought that is a question or something you're curious about regarding what you'd like to know about this topic so far. You're gonna add that thought to a Padlet and the Padlet is another technology tool that is very helpful. If you don't know how to use it yet, I put a link to learn how to post your Padlet. And just go ahead and dive into this learning task. Finally, we're going to dig in a little deeper. And in this third task, you're going to create a method for taking notes. I'd suggest a Google Doc, but you might have another method that works for you. You're going to want to just jot down some insights and quotes that will help you summarize your learning for the reflection that we'll be doing about four weeks. There are some examples of the reflection in Blackboard. Review some of the resources that I've put together to expand our your understanding of project-based learning and inquiry-based learning. And I used a Wakelet, which is a curation tool to do this. So just if you haven't used Wakelet yet, go ahead and click on the Wakelet and you'll notice that I've curated some resources for you. To You don't have to read everything in depth because it's quite a bit here, but start to skim through and read some of these resources. Some are things to watch and some are things to read. Finally, participate in the discussion forum for lesson one using the questions and prompts that I put there before. Uh, below. You don't have to answer every single one, but use those prompts to participate in discussion forum for lesson one. And finally, here's a summary of the week. I've organized a summary by what you should read, what you should watch and listen to, what you should do, and the discussions we're going to have this week. Have a great week. I know there's a lot to it at first, and there's a lot of us here. Uh, one thing I do want to say is there will not be, you won't have to read 17 or 19, I'm not sure how many we're up to now, people's discussions every week, but do read the intro and the bios this week because we're going to break up into subgroups and getting to know each other will help you choose the group that works best for you and who you might want in your group as the course progresses. I really look forward to getting to know you this week. Next Tuesday, I'll post another module. Reach out anytime through text, email, the help sessions on Blackboard. Um, I'm here for you and I'm excited to learn with you.